You know how frustrating it is when the bad weather affects you while you're watching Astro. But now there's actually a solution to this where you can actually continue watching your TV shows when the satellite service is down. And Realme is about to collaborate with Kodak for its upcoming flagship smartphone. Alright, so to learn more, remember to stay tuned to today's episode of Ichimi. It seems like Realme could be the next smartphone maker to collaborate with a photography brand to up its camera experience. After introducing the Realme GT, it is now rumoured that the newer GT Master Edition is in the works and it will come with a prominent Kodak logo at the back. The black and white photo comes with a watermark that's partially pixelated which makes it hard to confirm if this is indeed the device that's developed in partnership with Kodak. Several tipsters on Weibo has hinted that Realme will be working with a well-known camera manufacturer for an upcoming GT flagship smartphone. One tipster had initially said Realme is working on a co-branded phone with Kodak but the Weibo post has been deleted. The purported Realme GT Master Edition device was spotted on China's Tina database and it looks pretty plain with a once more Realme branding at the bottom. It looks more like a rehash of the OnePlus 9 Pro. So what are your thoughts on this collaboration? Do let me know in the comments below. Apple's latest iPad Pro has only been in Malaysia for around 2 months but now we are already hearing Apple's plans for the next iPad. While the 12.9 inch iPad Pro currently has a mini LED display, it seems like OLED displays will be on their latest tablet as early as next year. According to the ELAC, the Cupertino based company is looking to introduce a tablet with a 10.86 inch OLED display in 2022. It doesn't specify which exact model in their iPad lineup but judging by the screen size, it is likely to be a new iPad Air. The current 4th generation iPad Air has a 10.9 inch liquid retina display but because it has rounded corners when measured diagonally, the screen is actually 10.86 inches. Besides that, reports also suggest that we'll be seeing two brand new tablets in 2023 that will come with OLED displays. One of it will come with an 11 inch display and also a 12.9 inch display. These two screen sizes will be more in line with the current iPad Pro sizes which are also 11 inch and 12.9 inch in size. It is also said that the 2023 OLED panels will be different than the 2022 iPad Air's OLED display. One of the biggest complaints about Astro is that when the weather is bad, it will disrupt your viewing experience. I mean, that's just how satellite works. And recently, the service was disrupted due to an issue with Miasat 3. But now, there's a solution to this because Astro has recently rolled out an update where you can continue to watch your TV shows even though the satellite service is down. According to Astro, the new Ultrabox has been upgraded with continuous viewing which allows you to switch from live satellite TV to internet streaming. For this to work, your Ultrabox must be connected to your home's Wi-Fi and you will probably need at least 30 megabits per second for an optimal experience. The continuous viewing feature will also be rolling out for the Ulti box soon. You can switch to IP viewing by pressing the OK button on the remote when you see the error message. The switchover will take not more than one minute. In continuous viewing mode, you are also given the option to play the program right from the beginning so that you won't miss any action. When the satellite connection is restored, you can switch back to live TV mode. Qualcomm has recently appointed a new CEO and his name is Cristiano Amon. And even though he's new, he has a big goal in mind. And that's to beat Apple's M1 chip. A key part of the plan is that they have a number of ex-Apple staff on the company now after acquiring Nuvia early this year. Nuvia is a tech startup founded by former Apple engineers that had worked on the Apple A-series chips. Prior to their acquisition, Nuvia has been working on their own CPUs which is also based on ARM. Together with Nuvia and these guys, Qualcomm's plans now are to further develop their laptop-capable ARM processors. Another goal that Amon has set up is to integrate 5G connectivity into their laptop CPUs. Qualcomm already has a very solid foundation in building smartphone systems on chips with 5G capabilities and bringing that to their laptop CPUs appears to be the next step. And interestingly, this could be an area where they have a jump on Apple. Alright, so thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like our video if you liked it and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already and to click on the notification bell icon so you won't miss any of our future videos. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!